Hi, I'm Shana from Dr. Gore's office. I'm here with Jason. We're going to do an oral cancer screening as part of his new patient experience today. The first thing I want to say, Jason, is that I'm glad you're here today. And so I'm going to start by doing some palpation around your head and neck area. And we're also going to look intraorally into your mouth to look for any signs of tissue change. And then I'm going to go through some signs and symptoms of oral cancer with you. And it's not because I notice anything. I ju I'm just telling you this for your information. So take the info, stick it in the back of your brain. Hopefully you'll never need it in your lifetime, OK? okay. All right, here we go. I'm going to move your chair just a little bit. I think what I want to do is put a little Vaseline here so that we don't stretch your lips too much. There we go. So Jason, I'm just looking for any types of tissue changes and discolorations, and sometimes in your lifetime, you may notice maybe um, some patchy areas or even a lesion that doesn't heal after about a week or 10 days or so. I'd say give us a call immediately or talk to your MD and have someone take a look at it. So I'm looking at the floor of the mouth, around the borders of the mouth and the back of the throat, and I'm gonna palpate under your tongue just a little bit. If you ever feel any hard nodules in your mm. head or neck area, sure. behind your ears, under your tongue, under your chin, down the side of your throat, along your thyroid area, mm. have someone take a look at those because it's not normal to have a hard nodule that doesn't move. Sure. Okay. So what I'm and how is your TMJ, your temporal mandibular joint? Everything feels comfortable Very good. to you. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to turn the lights out in the room and I'm going to use a velscope. Okay. The Velscope, V-E-L, Visually Enhanced Lesion, what it does is it looks deeper into the tissue so that we can catch things earlier than before they come up to the surface. So that best detection is earliest. Okay. okay? Thank you. So with this light, I'm going to have you just close your eyes for a moment. And when I look through here, Everything that's healthy looks green and white as I look through the lens. If there's anything maybe that shouldn't be there, it's going to absorb the light differently. And I'll see more of a dark purple or black area. I'm going to have you open real wide again and stick your tongue out and say, ah, uh, great. And then raise your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Jason, I think you look fantastic. Good. You're doing wonderful. I'm also going to let you know that one thing you want to always watch out for is in your lifetime, if you ever have any um, changes of your smell or your taste mm. or a lack of any of those things, be aware because you, if, God forbid, you started to get a growth in your head or neck area, it could cut off the sensation of that sense, okay? Or some people have had some growths or tumors start maybe at the base of their tongue and it interrupts the taste bud to the brain sensation oh, okay. and your food doesn't taste right. Hmm. Right? So, thank you for watching.